to everybody. Um, we are rather short of time, I believe, because at 11 we were expected to have a break, so I will try to be as short as possible. If I get too long, please stop me. I will skip uh, an introduction about myself and my university to go directly into the <coughs> contents of the WP5. And uh, by the way, the, the nice and interesting story uh, told by Walter about uh, his uh, piece of furniture is very uh, uh, enlightening about uh, the importance of measuring the actual performance of uh, circular systems because sometimes uh, common sense or even uh, um, establish uh, waste management hierarchies given by uh, academic, academic people um, may not translate into real benefits from a sustainability point of view because as you may have seen to, to uh, enhance the uh, durability of a durable good such a piece of furniture Walter ended to uh, had to, to, to travel uh, <laughs> a few dozen kilometers to, to, to deliver it somewhere. So, uh, it's important, you know, this is the context from which we are moving. Uh, circular economy systems may show different degrees of feasibility from the economic point of view and different degree of effectiveness from the both social and environmental point of view. So, we need to get quantitative data to try to assess the real benefits and burdens of each choice we make uh, <clears throat> from the circular economy uh, within the circular economy framework. So, in, in several cases, the sustainability implication of so called circular economy choices are taken for granted uh, uh, because of, the, of a number of assumptions, but uh, to be comforted about the real uh, benefit and cost of a given uh, system or some kind of activity, we have to try to careful, carefully identify a range of impact and try to quantify them and also be able to communicate them to stakeholders. So, and moving from this background, the overall, uh, the overall uh, objective of WP5 is measuring the impact of circularity. Um, well, uh, both through understanding the main methodological issues and challenges, because a number of approaches, methods and tools are already available, have been developed uh, over the, the, the recent decades, but uh, they need to be improved and we have to understand uh, if and how they can be implemented to assess complex systems such as the uh, circular eco e e economy ones. Um, and we have also to develop indicators which can be used to easily communicate the outcome of our assessment to the overall public or to given stakeholders. So, we have three perspectives, three different projects within this uh, WP. The first one, which will be mainly supervised by myself and we'll see Walter as a co-supervisor, um, will be carried out mainly by Anna Valka as a uh, early stage researcher. So I will, would like to give her, if she wants, the opportunity to, to tell us something about herself and the, her role within this project. Yeah, hello, so I'm Anna Walker from Switzerland. Um, I have a background in international affairs 
and then yeah. I thought I would, because it was quite a business and profit oriented, I thought that was not the way to go, so I decided to uh, master in sustainable development at the University of Geneva with a focus on standards. Uh, this is what I'm going to be busy with the next three years, so I'm going to focus mainly on what the different methodologies are that can be used in the different contexts and different sectors. Um, for measuring the actual impact of a circular economy <coughs> on sustainability. Okay, thank you, Anna. Um, the second project will be uh, supervised by my colleague from the University of Messina, Roberta Salomone, and co-supervised by Tatiana Reyes from Troyes. The uh, involved uh, ESR will be Eric Rose Lindgren, please. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Eric uh, from the Netherlands. I have a broad background in sustainability. I did my bachelor's at Amsterdam University College in Environmental Sciences. Then I did a master's at Free University of Amsterdam in Environment and Resource Management and a master's in Earth Sciences. Then I worked for two years, uh, developed some knowledge about life cycle assessments for uh, governments, for private companies, for NGOs. And now really excited to start applying that knowledge for developing sustainability and having insight into sustainability measurement methods at company level specifically. Okay, thank you very much Eric. And finally the third perspective uh, would be, will be related to the project carried out, supervised by Sandra Cairo from the Aberta, Universidad de Aberta in Lisbon and co-supervised by, again, Roberta Salomone from Messina. Kathleen Opferkuch from Australia will be the ESR dealing with this uh, project. Please, Kathleen, if you want to add something about yes. Um, you. Yes. Hi, Hi, my name is Kathleen. I'm from Perth. Um, there I did my bachelor's in environmental health and health and safety actually. Uh, and then I moved to the Netherlands to study my master's at Utrecht University in sustainable development. And there I focused more on land and water management. Um, I did my thesis uh, actually about indicators, but to measure the what tools and assessment methods are currently available for organizations to measure the environmental impacts of water use sort of water footprinting concepts and uh, yeah so I'm very familiar at least with a lot of pitfalls and advantages of different indicators and perhaps yet yeah, more at an organizational level how um, they are miscommunicated or to the public as well. Um, but yeah I currently have not started as I mean a bit of a user so <laughs> I'm looking forward to starting administrative issues bureaucracies. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you very much Well, if I have some more time, one minute, just a few words about the partners, organizations involved. Uh, we have a few uh, partner organizations, mainly companies. Uh, two of them are involved in Project 5.1. Uh, Eco Innovazione is a small startup firm uh, established a few years ago as a spin off uh, from Enea, which is the Italian agency for the environment and new technologies. And uh, it's very important to collaborate with them because they have gained a good understanding and good reputation internationally as regards the uh, life cycle thinking and sustainability life cycle assessment methods and tools. And APTER is a multinational corporation involved in the packaging industry, especially their manufacturing uh, uh, components for the beauty and home sector. I mean, uh, uh, micro pumps and dispenser for perfumes, liquid soaps and, and so on. And they have started collaborating with our university several years ago uh, as regards uh, environmental management, industrial ecology. Uh, they have hosted uh, our master students, we have an industrial doctorate collaboration going on with them. And as regards Project 5.2, the company involved is Mangia Torella, which is a local company dealing with the bottling and marketing of spring water. This is an interesting 
uh, different um, organization because they have just started a path towards uh, environmental management and sustainability so it could be fine to understand uh, uh, how to to support them in support them in, in this um, pathway and finally as regards 5.3 uh, we have a multi-stakeholder initiative promoting circular economy in Taiwan, the Taiwan Circular Economy Network involved. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you.